float hour. And here comes the summer show train. The Association of American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life, brings you the Railroad Summer Show Train, starring Gordon McRae. And featuring Lucille Norman with the music of Carmen Dragon and the orchestra, stripped by Gene Holloway, and the choir under the direction of Norman Luboff. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we're going to ride the summer show train back through time and memory to one of the most beloved eras that America lived yesterday, the gay 90s. Gay people spoke with the strawberry pond and the bed went on. He flagged off the floor with the bell he adored and the band played The gay 90s. An era that America lived yesterday. I love my wife, I know you kid. <laughs> it was the year of the celluloid collar, the tandem bicycle, and horse cars on Broadway. Ladies' skirts were well below their modest ankles, and their necklines were well up to their modest chins. The hourglass here was the figure to strive for. And one of the most famous of those figures belonged to the incomparable Lillian Russell. If you were a gay young blade back in those days, you may have had her picture on your dresser. Or maybe you had a girl of your own then. And on Sunday afternoons, you dressed up in a blazer and white flannels and took her canoeing. And as she'd strum on her mandolin, you'd sing her a song that went like this. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by one. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you lose me. Then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone. Tell me I'm your own. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Send me a kiss by one. Patriotic America, back in the gay 90s. Oh, beautiful Fort Spacious Skies, for amber waves of rain. You're standing on shore looking out across the dazzling brightness of a bay in Cuba ship has just been blown up, and now the smoke is darkening the blue sky. The darkness will spread as the news blazes across the American headlines in angry accusation, and an accounting will be demanded. From a Cuban shore, you have watched the beginning of a war. Tomorrow, the man standing on the flagship directing the battle 
will be one of America's great heroes of the hour, Commodore George Dewey. You are now part of the Battle of San Juan Hill, a group of American cavalrymen known as the Rough Riders. The man leading you is charging into history. When he comes home from San Juan Hill, he will be elected governor of New York. And later, he will be elected the 26th president of the United States. Theodore Roosevelt. Back in those days, you were talking about Teddy Roosevelt, and Commodore Dewey, and Edwin Booth, and Maud Adams. And you were singing a waltz song whose story brought a tear to your sentimental eye. A song that went like this. After the war. not even believe it, but even back in the gay 90s, housewives were kicking about the high cost of living. Thirteen cents a pound for steak. Mr. Jameson, that's highway robbery. That's what it is. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jones. If, if you don't like it, don't buy it. I have to pay ten cents a pound for it myself. Well, we won't eat steak in our house for the time being. Now, how much are you asking for pork chops? Eleven cents. Seven cents for pork chops? All right, don't buy pork chops. <laughs> I don't know what this country is coming to. Butter, 26 a pound. <laughs> 30 cents a dozen. Bacon, 14 cents a pound. It's a positive disgrace. I'm going to write to Washington about it. She may have seen in the good old days, the immortal Sarah Bernhardt was appearing at the Garden Theater in New York. In 1898, Alice Nielsen starred in Victor Herbert's newest operetta, The Fortune Teller. And for the first time, America heard this unforgettable melody. The birds of the forest are calling for thee And the shades and the glare Summer is there with 
her blossoms bare, and you are absent only. No birds that nest in the greenwood tree, but try to greet you and kiss you. But most of all, I miss you. Slumber on, my little gypsy sweetheart. Mark Hanna were the great names in politics. <laughs> 
In the theater, Chauncey Alcott was the matinee idol of the day, and feminine hearts fluttered excitedly when this famous Irish tenor sang this well-known love song. My just over the horizon, and the great age of speed and mechanism was already beginning to come into view. Exciting things were in the wind, and almost everyone's imagination was working overtime. I tell you, it's the greatest idea that's ever been brought to the New York police force. Yeah, I can't see it. What do you mean you can't see it? You want the police force to be efficient, don't you? You want it able to move from place to place quickly, don't you? Listen, I'm telling you, if you want the police force to be able to catch up with the criminals in this town, the thing to do is to put them on roller skates. No, 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 that's ridiculous. All right, all right, let the world go by you. Throw your head in the sand, go ahead. Someday all policemen will operate on roller skates. <laughs> skating was most popular. And those were the days when Nellie Bly went around the world in 72 days, 6 hours, 10 minutes, and 58 seconds. Those were the days of the famed engine number 999, scooted down the track at the rate of 112 and one half miles an hour between Crittenden and Wendy, New York. And those were the days when America first sang a beautiful new song by Adam Geibel called Kentucky Bay. Peters, I'm a humming on the honey supple vine. Thank 
1890s, over 50 years back into time and memory. My sweetheart, the man in the moon. I'm going to marry him soon. Could fill me with bliss just to give him one kiss. But I know that a dozen I never would miss. Honey, look here in tonight's paper. It says they aren't going to allow a horseless carriage in Central Park. Dear, would you mind reading your paper and letting me read mine? Every night when I sit down to read my paper, you have And to... look! Vaudeville houses are going to start showing motion pictures. Huh, motion pictures. The things people waste their time on nowadays. My brother says motion pictures are going to be important someday. Motion pictures? Oh, your brother doesn't have the sense he was born with. <laughs> Why, if I had a vaudeville theater, I wouldn't let a motion picture play in it. The motion pictures will kill off vaudeville. That's what they'll do. No one will go to the theater anymore. the conflict between vaudeville and motion pictures was just beginning back in the gay 90s, and so were a lot of other things that seemed small at the time and were to achieve great stature in the new century. The game of basketball, which started in 1891, the electric trolley, the horseless carriage, the first golf championship match. The gay 90s was the era of Lillian Russell and Diamond Jim Brady and Mrs. Leslie Carter. The derby hats and high button shoes and fleece lined underwear. It was the era of the waltz and of the inventor and of dreamers who began to glimpse the wonders that lay ahead. The gay 90s, over 50 years back into time and memory, to a September evening in 1891 when Jesse Bartlett Davis stood on the stage of a Boston theater and in the operetta Robin Hood sang a song that was destined to become a legendary part of the American wedding ceremony, the song that will live forever for it belongs to all people in love. Oh, promise me that someday you and I
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. In just a moment, I'll tell you what we have in store for you next week. The Summer Show Train is written by Gene Holloway and brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroad, which provide you with the safest form of transportation in the world. Now, they accomplish this through the unbeatable combination of safe men and safe equipment. On the railroad, safety first is much more than a slogan. It is a guiding principle every mile of the way. Railroad men know by experience and training that only a safe worker is an efficient worker. And railroads have spent billions of dollars in providing the safest plant and equipment money can buy. Yes, that's why the railway is the safe way for you to travel. I'm sitting on top of the world with one of America's biggest hits back in 1925. And next summer, the summer show train is the next week, that is. The summer show train is going to take you on a trip to that year to relive some of its interesting happenings and hear many of its greatest songs. Songs like Only a Rose, Always, and He for Two. So folks, be sure to join us again next Monday and ride with us aboard the summer show train back to the year 1925. All aboard! Well, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next week, goodbye. <laughs> McRae is currently starring in the Warner Brothers Technicolor musical hit, The Daughter of Rosie O'Grady. And now for Lucille Norman, Carmen Dragon in the orchestra, the Norman Luboff Choir, and our star, Gordon McRae. This is Marvin Miller with a hearty invitation from the American Railroads to join us again next week and ride the summer show train back to the year 1925. Now stay tuned to your Monday night of music on NBC. Oh!